Good morning from the Aviation Mega Store at Schiphol in the Netherlands. Today we're actually not going to talk about model aircraft, even though we're at the Aviation Mega Store. What I'm going to do today is make a spotter's guide for you about runway 0624 aka the Kaagbaan at Schiphol Airport. I am making this video because I have not seen any spotter's guide videos about Schiphol on YouTube yet and I want to be helpful to you guys. Whether you come to Schiphol to airplane spot, have a long layover or you live in the Netherlands, this guide will surely be helpful for your airplane spotting experience. The Kaagbaan runway is frequently used and it offers a great view of both the city skyline of Amsterdam, the airport of Schiphol and you are next to the cargo section of Schiphol which means you can get some great views of 747s parked there. I am going to show you three spotting places where you can go and you get a great view of both incoming and outgoing traffic. Today we have a hard wind coming from the northeast which means we have incoming traffic into the Kaagbaan. Here is a map of Schiphol airport and the red marked runway is the Kaagbaan. When we zoom in a bit closer you can see on the bottom right of your screen the aviation mega store. I need to make a separate video about this store because I want to show you how cool it is but we are going to use this as our parking spot for this video. And from this point we'll be continuing in the Dutch style with the bike. We're going to cycle about 6 minutes to the first spot which is a dike next to the Kaagbaan which is quite a popular spot for airplane spotters where you get great views of both the incoming traffic and the traffic on Schiphol itself. This is the dike I just talked about and before we continue it was negative 4 and with the wind the wind chill was maybe negative 10 so I was so cold. I'm so sorry if the footage is a bit shaky. I was wearing double gloves but still I felt so cold. Anyway let's talk about this awesome spotting place for the Kaagbaan. The dike offers an awesome 99% unobstructed view. When the airplanes come in from the left side of the screen there may be a tree in front of the aircraft but that's just for a few seconds. And on the other side of the ditch there is a red and white box which can obstruct the view but if you walk all the way to the end of the dike it won't be in your view any longer. The dike is really nice and wide which means that it can fit a lot of people and you won't be annoyed by people being in your view, you can go there on a warm sunny day, take a chair, a cool box, some soft drinks and enjoy your afternoon here for sure. The dike is accessible by bike, though the last 100 meters you need to cycle over a road which is only meant for cars and not actually for bikes, but it's not that busy, so it's quite doable. There is a bus stop about 100 meters away from the dike, which is really convenient, and if you want to come by car, you can park about 500 meters away from the dike and then walk the rest. Furthermore, when you come on a clear day in the morning, like this one, the sun comes from behind which means you get the optimal sunlight for pictures. Also like I already mentioned the cargo section of Schiphol airport is also next to the Kaagbaan which means you can get some great views of parked cargo aircraft like these two 747s right here. Furthermore the Schiphol tower is also behind the Kaagbaan runway and it's exactly at the point where the aircraft touched down which means when the aircraft touches down and the smoke comes from the tires you can get a perfect picture with the Schiphol airport tower on the background. I did my absolute best to make the picture I just described but it was my first time airplane spotting with an actual camera so let me know how I did in the comments. Alright that's it for spot 1, let's move over to the second spot. This spot is called the Easy Park at the Schiphol Kruisweg and it is not even 5 minutes away with the bike from the previous spot and it's easy to walk as well. Though I am not sure whether the owners of the Easy Park would like it if there would be many spotters on their parking lot as it's private, but I haven't seen a sign there that you cannot airplane spot there, so I guess if you're alone and you're just looking for another angle of the aircraft, go ahead and 
just walk through there because if you go all the way up to the end of the easy park you get an awesome view of the Kaagbaan in its whole length and the view is unobstructed which makes it for absolutely awesome shots of definitely landing aircraft but I'm sure aircraft taking off will also be very nice photographing here. This place is, as I said, only accessible by either bike or foot. And you are on someone's private property, but as you can see from this picture, it's surely worth a shot because you can get an absolute stunning angle of the aircraft. Now let's move over to the final spot of this video, which is a bus lane at the end of the Kaagbaan. I walked all the way up to the traffic barrier as you can see here on the Google Earth screenshot and the aircraft almost fly over ahead of you which means you cannot get a good angle from the side which shows the livery of the aircraft but you can get an awesome view of the aircraft touching down with the skyline of Amsterdam behind which I think offers some unique shots like these. This spot is really easy to access either by bike or by foot and you cannot park your car here on the side because you will block the buses coming past. And there are two downsides of spotting at this location which is one, I already said it, you cannot get the angle from the side which shows the livery of the aircraft and two, when the aircraft approaches there are some traffic lights in the way which can obstruct your view. But either way, this was the third and final spot and each and every single one of the spots I really enjoyed much. Because they all offer a unique and different angle at which you can see the aircraft coming in. Especially the different backgrounds like the Amsterdam Schiphol Tower, the cargo section of Schiphol and the city skyline of Amsterdam. Furthermore, these places are a 5 minute bike ride away from each other which makes them really easy to access and you don't miss any aircraft while switching places. Talking about bike rides, you may have been wondering during this video what is that special bike that he is riding on in this video. Well, this is the DIU T1 bike and this video is actually sponsored by DIU Electric Bikes. DYU offered their T1 bike for me for free to review for you guys. By which I came up with the excellent idea to go airplane spotting at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport using the bike. I would like to tell you some of the awesome features of the DYU T1 bike which makes the bike really convenient for, for example, going a day airport spotting. As you can see here in the rear wheel there is a motor and in the pedals there is a smart torque sensor which accurately measures pedal torque and that alters the motor output power according as the terrain and riding behavior changes. The rubber hand grips on the bike are really comfortable and next to the hand grips is a power button which shows the battery level in three different stages and on top of the power level indicator is a bell. On the other side of the steer there is a 7 speed transmission which makes no terrain too rough to ride and no steep mountain too steep to ride. I do want to mention that when you are riding at top speed in 7th gear you need to rotate the pedals quite often in order to maintain top speed as you can see here from the video. But it didn't bother me too much and I think at some point you will get used to it. Today I only visited 3 spotting places which were close apart from each other so I cannot tell you anything about the range of the DIU bike yet and I also cannot say how comfortable it is when you ride on it for a longer period of time. But luckily Schiphol counts a total of 6 runways which means we have got 5 more to cover so I hope when I have covered all the runways I have a better opinion about the DIU T1 electric bike. So that wraps it up for this video. I hope I helped you planning your day out to go spotting at the Kaagbaan at Schiphol. If you have any questions or remarks, please leave them down below in the comments. I am more than happy to answer them for you. Also, let me know whether you like this kind of content or if you prefer the normal model aviation content. Either way, I have got 5 more runways to cover. So thank you for watching and see you in the next Schiphol Airport Spotters Guide.